In the last tutorial, you set up the layout of the home page, which is now going to be used as a template. But we now need to include the buttons so that every web page will have buttons on it. First of all, we need to make sure that we're in the normal view rather than HTML tags view. And we're going to create just a couple of spaces before the first button. Otherwise, it's going to look a bit odd right on the very edge of the page. I'm just going to use PowerPoint to create a basic shape. There's all sorts of ways that you can create buttons, and you'll probably find a much better method than this, but this is very simple and does the job. I'm going to keep the button very, very shallow because it needs to fit within those 50 pixels. Uh, and we're going to set it to be white, and I'm going to take the outline off so that there's no outline on it now. So it actually just looks like a blank bit of white on white background. We're going to add some text, and this one is going to be our home page. And what I'm going to do is just change that font to a Times New Roman. I'll leave it as 18 because that's the uh, size of the, the font that we said would be our H2 style, so that's absolutely fine. Just going to make it a little bit wider, and that means that if we've got any longer named pages, they'll be able to fit on as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste it into Paint. Now, if I just paste it normally, and obviously we've got all this canvas area here, and so that's not going to make a very good button. So what I'm going to do is resize my canvas before I start to be one pixel by one pixel. Or three by one is fine as well. And now I can paste the button in and it takes up the whole canvas. I can now save this image. And here's my raw return website. I'm going to create a new folder called images where all pictures will go. And we need it to be a JPEG. I'll change that to JPEG, and it's no good calling it untitled. So I'm going to call it button, and it's a button for the home page. I'll click on save. So that saved the button. Now it's not showing in here yet, we just need to refresh the files. There's our images, there's our button, and I can drag that on just after those spaces that I created. So when you look at this, you think, hmm, not quite sure if this is good enough because it's taking up the whole of the height here, the whole 50 pixels, and it sort of blends into this next section. Well, the best thing to do is have a look at it. And so if we browse the page, we can see what it will really look like. And actually, it's got quite a nice effect in that it actually appears to be a tab of that page. So it's going to look quite nice doing it that way anyway. But if you want to make it smaller, you can, of course, do that. You now need to repeat what you've just done for the fast food page and the contact us page. Here is one I created earlier then. And all we need to do now is add the links to each of these buttons. So if I right hand click on the home button and I'll go to create link, I can then select uh, by clicking on this open button here, the index page, which is the home page. Now I know we haven't got the other two pages left open yet, but we can set up the links in preparation. So I'm going to create a link here, and we're going to call the food fast food page as fastfood.html. So as long as I name it that way when we create the page, everything will be fine. And then we've got the contact us page. So I'm going to create the link here, and I'm going to call this contact.html. I've now created all the buttons and their hyperlinks. So that is our homepage and our template completed.